mac and cheese, mac and cheese, mac, 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 mac and cheese. <laughs> oh yeah. Mac and cheese. video for our kids well, food, food, yes. food. so today we're gonna test out all the tiktok viral food hack videos yes oh my god i so wanted to try it we spend a good amount of time on tiktok, TikTok. every night yeah. and there's so many crazy hacks and i want to test it for ourselves if this is true or not yeah some of them looks just way too easy mm -hmm. that it's just like is this even possible yeah. and i'm gonna cook kitties you can remember two cups of baking soda and <laughs> half a cup of sugar <laughs> So I'm curious that we should make a merch out of saying like two cups of sugar and half a cup of baking soda right here. I think that's a good idea. Shut up. <laughs> it's a disgrace in Han's family. <laughs> But before we jump into the video, we quickly want to mention that this video is supported by Casey Fan! We finally got a new case, let's get it! Oh my god! <laughs> so, I'm a little bit getting tired of my cases right now. So <laughs> Already? Yeah, I'm hard. I get really bored easily. <laughs> is that what happened to Demetrius? Um, yeah, but I'm thinking of getting back to it with Demetrius because I have to create a content next month. <laughs> Ooh. One. Read it. Trace your dream QQ. Ah, isn't this so pretty? Oh my god. So this one is an impact case which is engineered with a two-layer construction of cheat tech and a drop test of proof for drops up to 6.6 .6 feet. And these two are ultra impact cases which are drop test approved for drops up to 9.8 feet. So in case you find there are endless designs, colors, and prints that matches your phone to your style. And you can also customize by adding your names or monogram. And all of case of my cases are very thoughtfully made. For example, all these cases have antimicrobial coating that kills 99% of germs so that your phone is germ free. And their impact and ultra impact cases are created with 50% recycled material, which is really a great step for protecting our planet. So the time this came for us to test, they are three, three times. times military grade protection. Yes. So here is before my phone. Go! <laughs> Whoa! I mean, I love case by cases. They're yeah. really slim, stylish, yet they're very sturdy and protective. Yes. I think as a clumsy phone users like us, like case by cases are a must for us. Mm -hmm. So if you guys want to get a new phone cases, make sure to go to caseify.com slash QQQ to get 15% off on your first phone purchase. The link will be at the description box below, so make sure to check it out. And thank you so much, Casey <gasps> Thank you. I love it. <laughs> what, what's it? You <laughs> so let's do it, sisters. Cookies. I'll cook for you. Oh shit. <laughs> I gotta go get some Pepto Bismo, bitch. <laughs> Should we create a, a little series of Kiki's cooking show? Yes, and I'll be the, the head chef. No, no, I'm the head chef, you sous chef. Why can't I be the head Actually, chef? Actually, waitress. <laughs> Don't even come in here. Okay, I'll show you this. I'll show you this. Here you go, sis. You get the, you get the one. <laughs> so the first one is called Cloud Bread. <gasps> oh, I think I've heard of that. That looks like a little baby's butt. So for this one, the ingredient, you need sugar, three eggs, cornstarch, food coloring, and salt. So we need three egg white. Can I try two? No. <laughs> oh, how do you do it so easy like that, sister? Practice makes perfect. Ah! Oh, look at this. Thank you, Lord. Pinch of salt. And then you have to whisk it. Four tablespoons of sugar, but we're gonna divide into two tablespoons, then whisk it, and then put the rest of the two tablespoons. What? <laughs> One, two. Two more. Yeah. Two. 
One teaspoon of cornstarch. One teaspoon of vanilla extract. Okay, so the consistency is perfect, perfect right now. It's quite thick. So we're gonna put blue coloring. Ooh. It looks like this. Oh, it's really blue on the camera. Oh, it's so foamy. Look at that little jiggle. <laughs> Ooh. That is so cute. Right. Ah. I'm so excited. So you put it in the oven at 150 degrees Celsius for, for roughly 25 minutes. And taste it. Six and a half hours later. <gasps> Whoa! Okay. But it isn't as blue as when we first put it in. Oh, inside is blue! Whoa! Whoa! That is so pretty. Oh, it smells weird. weird. Right? It's so soft that it feels like it's not fully cooked. It's so squishy and like the jiggly. Texture's, texture's really weird. Mm. It's not bad, it's but it's, it's not great too. Mm -hmm. It's very sweet. That's pretty. <laughs> it's it's <insane>. so <laughs> Okay, next. Jeez, this is the one that I'm really, really excited. Mm -hmm. And a little bit skeptical too if this is gonna work or not. It's basically a colored popcorn made out of Skittles. But I'm wondering, like, would the color come out like that? I think all of these Skittles colors are gonna get mushed together and Aww. become black. That could make sense. Hmm. Cause when all the colors are combined, it becomes black. It's called color theory, jeez. So for the ingredients, you'll need corn, Skittles, and oil. Pretty much it. Sis, I'm going to put the handle here. <laughs> Wait, what's wrong with this? Oh, oh there you go. Okay. Is that enough? How much corn are we supposed to put? You ask me the red person. <laughs> okay, that'll do. Here we go. Skittles. Mix, mix, mix. I just hope the color comes out pretty. Not like black and dirty shit. A few inches later. Ah! Ew! Oh, no, no. It's gonna make a sound, sister. It's gonna make a sound. This <laughs> is all burns, like. This was a sour skin, right? It's freaking sour! Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, fail! Okay, the next one! What is it, sister? Tell it's me. It's called sandwich pocket. So you know pizza pocket? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're kind of making like something like that. Yeah. So when you like grill it, mm -hmm. and then you open it, there's gonna be cheese coming out. So for ingredient, you need mozzarella, a butter, and a slice of ham. Of course, you need bread. So first, we're gonna get rid of the crust. Crust is the most yummy, isn't it? Yeah. I love crust in bread. When we're in kindergarten, there were so many like students in our class who don't eat the crust, crust. of the bread. I'm like, can you give it to me? <laughs> so here we go. We have two, two slices. slices of bread. Oh, you make it flat. Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha. Like this. Interesting. We're gonna put a slice of ham, mozzarella cheese on top, and top it all with two more slices of ham. Ooh, yep. this is gonna be so good. And then you sandwich, sandwich it. And then you close the opening by going like really? this. Yes. Oh. <laughs> this is really smart. Right? No, I just want to eat it right now. No, you gotta oh. <laughs> So <laughs> put a butter on top. Don't get it. A few moments later. Ooh. Look at the cheese. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. If we have a pizza sauce, this is just a piece of pocket. Oh, wow. Okay, next. It's called a Nutella mug cupcake. Ah, I think we made it a long time ago. We did? But basically, you're making a little cupcake out of a mug. We need um, Nutella, milk, baking powder, and some flour. So first, you gotta put a four tablespoon of flour. This is tablespoon, yes. I got it right this time. Yes. One, two, three, four. Hey! Oh, my boob is very sensitive today because I just started my friend. Is that to TMI? Oops. <laughs> now we're going to put 100 grams of Nutella. Ugh. Oh, <gasps> very. So we're going to put 100 grams of this bitch. <laughs> Ooh. Mmm! Mmm! A quarter 
teaspoon of baking powder. And then we need 45 milliliter of milk. And then just use your fork to stir it up. And then bake it in the oven in 180 degrees Celsius for 15 to 17 minutes. One eternity later. Ooh, this whole place smells like chocolate. Yeah. Oh, oh. It's crispy on the top layer, moisty on the inside. Mmm. Wow. Mmm, the texture is really good. The outer layer is crunchy. So the next one is an omelet, and they don't have an exact name for this, but basically you're creating an omelet literally inside this chip. What? A potato chip. So you literally, everything inside here, and then just dunk this in a boiling water. <laughs> So for the ingredients, you'll need some egg. We're just yes. two eggs. Some what? cheese. The ham slices. Paprika. Onions. Oh. The most important ingredient. The chip. So let's first chop all the ingredients. Everything's ready. Mm-hmm. Let's crack two eggs. Just like when we make omelet. But it seems like she's not seasoning with any like salt and stuff because those chips is already very salty. Oh, That makes sense. Yeah. Add some little bit of water. Mix, mix, mix. Oh. Cheese, cheese, cheese. Oh, you said you can crack it. Ah, oh, I don't want to crack it. Crack it, bitch, before I crack you. <laughs> crack, crack. <laughs> crack, crack, crack. <laughs> Put the water first. Oh, it smells good. Mmm. 3.28. A M. Oh, it's so heavy. Ooh, ooh, ooh. yeah. Okay. Oh, ooh. Mmm. Oh, look at that cheese. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. It's so good. Oh. We didn't season it, but it's just right. Mmm. You can definitely taste that chips. Okay, here's the, the whole chunk of chips. It's all on the bottom. Yeah. Mmm. Mm. Wow. Delicious. What do you see, sister? Well, this is another breakfast hack, which mm. was created by the same creator who created that omelet. Mm. So basically for this one, we need two, two bread, bread, two eggs, Takis? She used Doritos, but I want to use this excuse to try the Takis. Because mm. now in Korean CU convenience store, we have Takis. Yes, we never try that. Yeah. And a hand. Oh, and a cheese. But before we start, can we taste Takis? Yana. Wow. It says fuego. What is fuego? There's Weird. a lime and chili. What? Mmm. It's not spicy at all, all but it's definitely soury. Mm. I love that strong corn taste. Mm. Wow, I love takis. Wow, takis so good. It's really good. So first, you cut the again the edges. The edges are the best part. And then you gotta cut the four sides in this way. So like, kind of like, like, like this. Mmm. So that you can mold it into the pan. pan. And, then, and then push. Yeah. And then you just shred some ham. And then you literally just dunk in the raw egg here. Put some cheese on top. And put some shredded takis on top. And the thing is, she didn't told us what temperature and how long you should do it. So I'm just gonna wing it. <laughs> so I'll try it at 185 for maybe 15 minutes. 12 o'clock midnight. Ooh. Ooh, they actually look really good. Yeah. Wow! A little pocket. Wow! That is so cute! So clean and easy peasy. Mm, so wow! Mm. Mm, I love that Takis on top. I highly recommend this. Okay, what's next, sister? Next one is your favorite si mac and cheese. <laughs> mac and cheese! <laughs> what did I do to deserve this? You deserve it, sis. We actually <laughs> never ever had a mac and cheese. Maybe when we were kindergarten? kindergarten? Maybe? Yeah. And then since then, we never ever had a mac and yes, cheese. Yes, but I always wanted a mac and cheese and it's quite hard to find in Korea. Like a legit one. Oh my god, sister, that's why we bought this? Yeah. <laughs> so for the ingredients, you'll need pasta shell, parmigiano reggiano. <laughs> hey, you need some cheddar cheese. We're gonna put the entire one block. What? Yeah, you put like that. You put this entire. Eno milk. Yeah. So oh, eno garlic. garlic. Sriracha. Salt. So the first thing is to put the entire block of cheddar cheese in your baking sheet. Wow. Yeah. 
That's crazy. That's crazy. This is gonna be some calorie bomb. We're gonna shit cheddar tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> That's disgusting, man. What does mac and cheese even taste like? Cheese. cheese. <laughs> Here you go. She put it in the middle like that. Whoa. This is literally just eating cheese. And then you put this shelf all around. More, more, more. So basically, she said to put six cups of milk, but I think that six cup is for her. So I think you just need to put enough milk that all the shelves are Covered? Here we go. Oops. Wait, she said to put a, a healthy pinch of salt. What is healthy pinch of salt? I have no clue. So I'll just sprinkle some salt. Salt. Some more here. Next, Miss Garlic. Mm. She puts I love garlic. dozen cloves. For her, that's good enough. But for this dozen, we're gonna eat garlic mac and cheese. <laughs> Mix it. Yeah. And then sriracha? Yeah, she just sprays a bunch of sriracha. That's it. And some ground pepper. I like a lot of pepper. That little pig, that'll do. Put in the oven at 175 Celsius for 40 to 45 minutes. Yes. 8.01 p.m. Let's see. Whoa. We're gonna mix it once. Mmm, the garlic scent. So she actually put some like roasted chicken too, but mm. we're not gonna do that. So I'm gonna just mix it and then put it in the oven for just a few more minutes. Oh, Kildis, we're so tired. Right now is 7.30 p.m. <laughs> we started this video around like 4 o'clock. It is 7.30, sis. I'm done with cooking this month. <laughs> I'll cook it for you then, sister. It's hot, sis. It's okay. <laughs> Ten more minutes? Okay! I mean, it's one minute left, but whatever. Mac and cheese, mac and cheese, mac, 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 cheese. <laughs> Whoa! 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 Ooh, gonna try some cheese on top. That big, sister? Yeah, she does it like this, too. Mm. Let's see. I thought the cheese string needs to, like... Oh! Really? Whoa! Mm. <laughs> Garlic! Wow! Mm. <gasps> so good! Wow! Mm. Mac and cheese is so easy! Mm. With some little parmigiano, arrugiano! <laughs> Top part is kind of like a little dry and crispy, and mm. the inside one is so gooey and hot. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> this one's best so far, wow! <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is the last one, kitty. Yes. She just. This cheese still there? Don't go, okay, kitty? Cause this is the epic. We saved the best one for last. So this one is called potato cheese ball. Ooh, that you fry it. So basically, she mashed the potato mm -hmm. and then mixed it with a little bit of flour and then put a breadcrumb, put it in an egg mixture, and then just fry it. And then if you like divide it in half, mm -hmm. there will be like a mozzarella cheese. Seems like all the TikTok hacks uses cheese. Mm. Like, I love cheese, but today I had too, too much, much cheese. cheese. This is way too much. I'm gonna shit some cheese tomorrow. Ooh, it's gonna like stream. <laughs> <laughs> so, for ingredient, you need breadcrumbs, flour, mozzarella cheese, a oh. steamed potato, you need one egg, a milk, oh. and salt. So we actually steamed the potato ahead and yeah. peeled it, and now we're gonna mash it. Go! Oh, why is it so hard? Ugh. Really? Hey, I'll do it, sister. Oh, thank you. I'm stronger than you. Hey, this is not hard. We're talking about. Thanks, sis. You're welcome. I'm a good sister, right? Yeah. <laughs> it looks like this now. Two tablespoons of flour, please. One. Mix it all together. Meanwhile, you can break an egg, sis. Break an egg, three tablespoons of flour. Two, three. I get one tablespoon of milk. Mix, 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 mix. There's some breadcrumbs. I'm gonna create a little ball. I'm gonna create a little hole. Oh, you put the cheese inside? Yeah. Roll, roll, roll. Roll, roll, roll. Don't get in the breadcrumbs. Wow! This 
is gonna be really good. Yeah, that's pretty much it. We're gonna fry that bitch. So seven balls ready. I'll put two more here. Oh, sister, before we do it, I have a confession to make. <gasps> Whoa, I'm scared. What? So out of this eight balls, there might be my gel nail. <laughs> I just realized my gel nails are gone. <laughs> just consider it as a little lucky treat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> can you hold this for a second so I can prepare something? Oh no. Just hold it so that it doesn't sweat. I think I'm gonna do something wrong. You won't. <laughs> Dunk it in. Let's do four first. Okay. Ooh, baby, crispy, sis. Duh. Hmm, <laughs> <laughs> maybe this will taste like a uh, tater tots. Ooh, I love tater tots. Me too. I love tater tots. I love tater tots. Like, we should make this a series. And someday we can have like a, a live cooking session with our cutie. Dolly, are we doing that next month? Oh my god, yes, we are. Yeah, next time we're gonna do a live, but it's gonna be a cooking live. Let me make my sister cook. <laughs> Ooh, Here it goes. That's a huge. Oh. What? What? Straight up tater tots. Really? Mm -hmm. like, mm. What? Wow. <laughs> Oh my god. Look at this. It actually tastes like a little bit of tater tots as well as like hot dog. Isn't mm -hmm. it? Right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Success. I'm gonna give this to mama and papa Kiki. They're gonna love it. Mm. Welcome back, kitties. After that day, we straight went to bed at like 10 p.m. And I had a like, cold sweat at night. <laughs> Cause I was so tired. Maybe cause we were also filming. It was, took so long. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, I hope you cuties enjoyed as much as we suffered. Yes. But well, we are fun exploring new food. So yes. what was your favorite, sis? Mine was the omelet with the chips. Lace chips. I think we should cook the omelet with, with the chips. lace chips. Like not inside the bag. I think that's it just took way too yeah. long to cook. But I'll actually cook the omelet with the, the lace, lace chips. chips. It was so good. Yeah. I almost a pocket sandwich. Mm. It's just so fun making. So this is our first time grilling a sandwich on a butter. And wow. We never really grill our sandwich with anything. We just, we just toast, toast it. it. Yeah, it's the first time we actually grilled with the butter, butter. And it was so good. That's why people eat the grilled sandwich. Yeah. So let us know in the comment section, cuties, which one would you guys actually try it? Don't ever try the Skittles with popcorn. Yeah. Jesus. Jesus. It's a lie. And I'm like washing the pan was pain the ass. <laughs> so hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye bye!